Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy here, and today, Charlotte Flair is on the news. Um, is Charlotte Flair headed to AEW soon? That's the big question. But the thing is, the question's already answered. No, she's not headed to AEW soon. Um, she's staying with the WWE for a bit, for a bit longer, actually. But the thing is, is AEW interested in signing the queen, Charlotte Flair? That's the big thing we want to talk about. Is AEW interested or would they even be involved with signing Charlotte Flair? So today I'm going to go through the pros and cons of staying with the WWE and then joining AEW. There are, I thought about this for a while. Like if Charlotte Flair is taking a big risk to leave the WWE to go to AEW, there are both good things and bad things about this. And let's start with, WWE. So the pros for staying with WWE is she's the top star. It's obvious. We know Charlotte Flair. She is the big star in the women's division right now, other than Becky Lynch or Sasha Banks. Like all of those women in the WWE right now, Charlotte Flair is the one on top. She's the top star. It's Charlotte Flair. Like what more can I say? Another thing is amazing in the ring. A lot of Charlotte's matches have been amazing, like WrestleMania 32, WrestleMania 34, and WrestleMania 35. Like, there, there are so many matches with Charlotte Flair that have been amazing. Like, she is amazing in the ring, and she's probably one of the best in the ring in the world right now. Like, women's wrestlers in the world, she's amazing at it. And the other thing about Charlotte Flair is she's a draw to the women's division. And, and as many people want to say, no, she's not. Like, she's winning championships. She's not. She's doing all that. Like, she doesn't deserve to be a draw. She is. She is a draw for the women's division. She can perform. She could do promos. She could do all that. Like, she is a draw for the, for the women's division. If Charlotte Flair wasn't there or, like, wasn't part of the Four Horsewomen, I feel like the women's division will be a little different. But Charlotte Flair is a draw for the women's division. And the last thing for staying with WWE is main event she is the main event if you want to headline a show you have to have becky lynch or charlotte flair she is a main event and plus she main evented wrestlemania 35 with becky lynch and ronda rousey so that's a big thing main eventing wrestlemania one of the big shows of the year or the biggest show of the year that is already a pro and now we're headed to the cons of staying with the wwe and I think we all know the cons. Um, the first thing is she's overpushed. As much as I love Charlotte Flair, I love her to death. I think she is amazing in what she does. But I got to think bias here. I got to be like in the middle for this one. Um, but yeah, Charlotte Flair, she is a little bit overpushed. I've noticed that for the past years, you know, like getting women's opportunities that she doesn't deserve. She's just getting handed the opportunities because she's a flair and the second thing is championship reigns her championship reigns don't mean much like she's like a 13 time women's champion and almost like 10 of them don't mean much or don't have a memorable reign only three of them do as like in my head at least um but her championship reigns those are a big problem with wwe and the thing is she's accomplished everything I know that's not a, a con, but there's not much for her to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, she's already won the Royal Rumble. She main evented WrestleMania. She's won at WrestleMania. She's won all the women's titles. Like, there's not much she can do except for win money in the bank. But we all know nobody wants that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, those are cons with staying with WWE. Um... There's more pros to it than cons. Now we're headed to the AEW side. We're headed if she will sign to AEW. And here are the pros for joining AEW. Number one, it's a big start to the women's division. Over the past year or ever since when AEW started, AEW has had trouble with its women's division. Like it's not doing much. It's probably the worst thing for AEW. And Charlotte joining AEW could help its women's division becoming, you know, a main event draw. She, like what we saw from WWE's, like she could make a big start for the women's division. And another one is new fans. A lot of people from 
who watch WWE or who used to watch WWE don't know much about AEW. So Charlotte Flair came to AEW. She, she, they could introduce to new fans to watch the shows weekly because she is a big name in the wrestling world right now. Third thing is a fresh start. As many people don't like Charlotte Flair in WWE saying she is over pushed, you know, she's doing too much. This could be a fresh start for her, you know, like being away from the WWE and just doing something new, you know, with the women's division for AEW. And the fourth thing is Andrade. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that Charlotte Flair and Andrade, you know, they're currently dating. Um, and it could help Andrade, you know, like with Andrade, he's not doing too much in AEW. Um, he wasn't doing too much either in WWE, but I feel like Charlotte Flair is that person to help him get like in the main event scene. Like Charlotte could be her manager. That's what I'm saying. Like Charlotte and Andrade together in AEW could be, a, it, it, it is a good thing. It's, you know, it's Charlotte Flair. She could help anyone boost up to the main event scene. So I feel like those are good things for joining AEW. And here are the cons for joining AEW. So the first thing is, it might be the wrong place. Um, and as you know, Charlotte Flair, she's always over pushed. And we don't know how AEW is. You know, WWE and AEW are two different things. AEW focuses on more wrestling. WWE focuses on more storytelling and all that. Charlotte Flair going to AEW, that is a big different thing than WWE. Like, we don't know how it could go, you know, with... The women's division, like if they actually would be down to work with Charlotte Flair, we don't know that. And I don't think it would be fit for her because I feel like she's more of a WWE girl than an AEW woman. And the other thing, it could go either way. Like when I was thinking if Charlotte ever signed to AEW, it could go good or it could go bad. The good, it could boost up the women's division and AEW could use her more. The bad... They've watched what Charlotte Flair is capable for the wrestling world, and they might not do much with her. That's, like, the thing that AEW would do. Like, they wouldn't know what to do. Like, should they push Charlotte more, or should they just not put her on TV much? And that's kind of a bad thing for her. So, yeah, those are um, all the pros and cons if she ever decided to stay with WWE or decided to join AEW. But, yeah, to me, I know Charlotte Flair isn't going anywhere for a while, and that's good. Um, but the thing is, would AEW be interested? And the big answer is probably not. I don't think AEW would want to work with Charlotte Flair because of her last name, you know, Flair. I feel like AEW would sign, like, people who didn't give much of a shot. I feel like Charlotte Flair, you know, she's done a lot. I feel like she's more perfect than WWE. And I know she's not heading anywhere anytime soon. But if she did go to AEW, that is a big move for her. But um, what do you guys think? Do you think Charlotte Flair would, would would survive in AEW or would she just go downhill? What do you guys think? But anyway, um, I'm going to end it there. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you guys give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And turn on post notifications if you haven't to know when I upload a new video. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later.